I'm Charlie King, Golf Magazine Top 100 instructor, and I want to talk to you about one of the things that's a big factor in golf, and that is we're always out there working on our golf swing, and we'll say the word golf swing. But the unfortunate thing for most people is their club is not truly swinging, and we want to define that today and get you to have a truly a golf swing because it works better that way. You'll use less effort. You'll hit the ball either the same distance or farther and not have to work as hard. So you take a golf club and you just let it go back and forth like this. Let it go back and forth on its own, the weight of the head and its own momentum. And you'll see a rhythm, tick, tock, one, two. And it's very similar to a kid sitting in a swing at the playground, back and forth based on momentum and speed. What's not happening is we're not muscling and guiding the club back and forth. We're truly swinging the golf club. So we take that idea and we want to build that in to how we move a golf club back and forth. So we're going to use driver for our example today. And the first drill I'm going to have you do is take this driver and instead of the normal holding it this way, I'm going to have you flip it over and hold it by this end. And I want you to create as much of a swoosh sound at the bottom as you can. So that the, the louder the sound, the faster the speed. So if you hinge your wrist and fold your right elbow, fold your left elbow and rehinge your wrist, that gives you the fastest speed you can get without working very hard. All right, so then we're going to take that idea and we're going to start to build some swing and some rhythm in conjunction with the drill that uh, I've heard for years that Davis Love the third did because his dad would have him go out take a full swing, but only use partial effort. So he may, may hit a drive 125 yards, whereas he had the capability of hitting it 300 yards. So he had to use a very low percentage of speed. So we'll go ahead and do that. So this will be full swing, about 125 yards. So that starts to get me in that mode of making a swing. Tick talk. And at the bottom of the swing, hearing that swoosh sound is a sign that I'm creating speed, but I'm not using tight, rigid muscles and just forcing the club around. That's really what our instinct tells us to do. So then we start to kind of go up the ladder a little bit. So now instead of 125 yards, same full swing, but we'll add just a little bit of effort, but it'll have that same good rhythm to it. And so you kind of noticed if you watched on that one, it was kind of tick, tock, and after it was over, it came back this way. That's another thing I like to see. When someone's really swinging the club, I think it very much has a tick, tock, tick, you know, really kind of three beats to it. So we'll do that, and we'd go all the way up till we find that maximum effective speed. Now, one of the uh, training aids that's been out there for years that really shows this principle is this whippy shafted it's called a tempo master. So, you know, you wouldn't think that you could hit a golf ball with this thing, but if you let it swing, you can see the shaft really stays pretty, pretty straight. But if you start to jerk it around, that's when you see the shaft move all over the place. So if we swing and swing, we really can, can actually swing it pretty fast at the bottom and hit a good shot. So let me demonstrate this for you. So the key here is I've got to swing it back, start down smoothly, and then swing it through impact. So to recap, we need to have a swing instead of muscling the club around. Our instinct tells us to muscle, but we've got to develop a swing. We're going to use the driver, we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the swoosh drill. We're then in conjunction with that, the fold and the hinge, the fold and the rehinge, we're going to hit some drives that are less than full effort just to get a feel for really how powerful a swing is when we're not using much effort. And then at least the thought or idea of how you'd have to change directions really smoothly if you were using the tempo master type club. 
So do these things and this will really help you develop a swing instead of muscling the club around.